everyone, my name is Vladimir Enchev and in this video I'm going to show you how you can customize the appearance of your Blazor application using Radzen Blazor Studio. So we have the application scaffolded from our database, we enabled security, we localized the application, we used the query builder to sort the sending by ID orders on initial load, and we even use the debugger to verify how the orders are populated in this data grid component. Let's now change a bit the appearance of our application. We can use the team button from the left pane in the Zen Blazor Studio to open all the team settings. At the moment, the current application team is the material, but you can change that from this drop down. You can choose our brand new team, Material 3, and the appearance of the application will be rebuilt according to the Material 3 team styles. Let's now check the swatches. Swatches are actually a predefined set of colors that can be quickly used to restyle the entire application. For example, let's choose this one. As you can see, all colors are updated. Or maybe we can choose this one. And again, the application will update everything needed. But if you need to customize deeply each of every color and component, you can do that through this um, three component here. So, as you can see, there is a primary color and we can change that to something different. For example, this one. And the button's primary color is updated. Maybe we can change the secondary color as well. Okay, let's choose this one. And the secondary color will be updated as well. You can change also shades. You can change the font size. Let's update it to something bigger, like 20 pixels. You can change the font family you can change the font colors, the background of the application, all the borders with the radius and with uh, on all the interaction states, icon sizes. But you can also drill down to each component uh, that will be used in your app eventually. For example, we can restyle the data grid component. Let's change something like the background color. We can choose this one. And as you can see, the background color of the grid is updated. We can change even the cell color of the data grid component. For example, this is the color of the text and it will be updated as well. We can change the entire colon um, of the data grid component. For example, um, the resize and drag handles. We can change the detail template, the header, the group header, the filter, the footer, etc. We can do, the, do this as well with all the components with their specific features like the data list, the date picker component, and etc. So, if you want to save these uh, modifications, you can use the export styles button. This will save all the CSS variables that you've just customized in a JSON file. And later, you can use this file to import your styles. For example, if I press reset now, this will reset the entire application to the original Material 3 team. But later, if you need your customization, you can simply import what you have saved. 
and as you can see everything will be loaded back okay so that's all for now thanks for watching